everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a set of custom darts and these are the Neil Westy Westgate Flying Fish Darts. Now these are the gold ones, he just currently done a run on rainbow colour and gold. I've got a set of gold, they're marked with number 15 on it because that's the number I picked. So what I'll do is we'll get a look at the barrels, they come just the barrels and a point protector, that's got all you get, it's a set of custom darts. I'll stick a bit, set of stems on it, a set of flights, we'll do a close up, we'll get over the board, test them out and then do a recap and a ratings. <laughs> First look at the darts, you see them in the little point protector they come with, you've got the gold bottom of the barrels, you've got the ring grip and then you've got the little flying fish logo. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out and have a close look at them, but before we take them out and have a close look at them, I'm going to show you something else as well. I currently, I just recently got the new L style flights and stems so what I'm going to do is I'll put them on these darts to test them out because I'll need to review these at some point so this will give me a chance to see how they go as well so I'm going to be using the L flight stems and shafts on them yes, and flights so we'll put them away to the side at the moment and we'll get one of Neil's darts out so as I said Neil Westy Westgate, you'll find them up on Twitter, he's a really nice guy, member of the GDL. He entered a competition to design a set of custom darts. And it was a set, it was custom made darts that ran on Facebook. And he had this design with the fish scales on it, but custom made darts couldn't make the fish scales. But he had the idea in his head and he wanted to get it done, so... Thornton got in touch with Thornton Darts and Thornton Darts said he could do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how he came up with this design to start with. It's based on the target, the dimensions of it are based on the target Agora A05 because he likes the length of the dart at 54mm, he liked the diameter at 6.4mm and the rear grip is based on the Unicorn Purist Hero Grip, which is his favourite grip, so he's got that on the back because he's a rear gripper. The Fish Scales. Now this came from a pen that his daughter had, a mermaid pen, and this is the scale design that's on the tail of the pen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a little picture in the corner to show you the pen. I'm going to... Also post a little picture coming up in the corner of how Neil grips the dart and then I'll show you a picture of his custom darts against the dart that he, he was using that he designed it on, he based it on the length and the diameter but so far, just taking it out of the package I just got it in an envelope and the point protector the quality is immense starting from the front you've got a black point and if you've watched my reviews before you'll know I really like a black point they just seem to be coated better and grip the board better from a, a standard steel point tip now the, the beginning of the dart has just got a ball nose it's a very basic ball nose very nice well finished, well machined, beautiful colour, the gold. And the fish scale on it, it just sets it off so well. Now, when I thought about this, I'm a front gripper, but I only bought these so I could review them and get my hands on it and I'll be keeping them. It's not going to be a dart that I'll use in a match dart or going forward because it's 22 grams, which is far too light for me. But I thought the grip was going to be minimal at most, but it's actually not too bad. Just an initial, with my fingers on it, you can you get a, get a bit of roughness. Don't know if that will wear down a bit with use. But you do get a bit of grip. It's not going to be a high grip, but the grip's here. So I'll give this, on initial, a two, maybe a two and a half. We'll see how we go with throwing it. But when you get to the back of the barrel, 
and that's that purest hero grip. That's like a razor. That is really sharp. It catches you in every direction. I'm pulling back the way. It's catching me, pushing forward. It's catching me. I'm running my hands round it, and it's catching. So that's a really good grip. And then you've just got the smooth barrel at the very back. I'm telling you, this is number 15 of the batch run. And then you've got a little Flying Fish logo, which is absolutely brilliant. Have a wee look inside, and you see how nice the machining is inside. Beautiful finish on the thread. And overall, it's a really, really nice looking dart. So what we'll do is we'll take some dimensions of it. We'll weigh them. Because I don't know what the match weighted guarantee is, but if it's coming from Thornton Darts, it should be really good. But we'll get, as I said, we'll get the calipers on it and get it measured. Then we'll get the scales over, get it weighed, and then we'll get it to the board. So first dimension we'll take is the length of the point, which is probably going to be a 26mm standard. Then you go 26.8, so that's just going to come under as a 26mm standard point. Length of the barrel is coming in at 54.1, which will be a 54mm barrel. There you go. And the diameter which we'll take a few diameters here, 6.42, 6.42, 6.45, but that's just with the machining raising up a little bit, that's all that is, 6.45, there's nothing in that, so it's a straight barrel, I'm going to say with the machining in it that the weight is going to be close to the middle, might be slightly at the front because there's less material taken out the front. You see it there, if you look, there's there's more material in this bit of the barrel than there is here. So I'm going to say it's going to be slightly front of centre, weighted. I've not checked that, I've not got anything to check that with. But overall, what a beautiful looking dart. So let's get the scales out, we'll measure them, I'll weigh them. So let's get the first barrel on. Now these are 22 grams. First barrel, 22.09. Even sitting on the scales, that still looks a smashing dart. Second dart. 22.06. And the last dart is 22.07. And I'm going to be using these with the L style flight, so I'm just going to put it on so I know what the full weight of this setup I'm going to be using is. And there you go, it's 23.6. So actually, there's not much weight added to it with the, the L style flights because they are actually really light. But we'll take one more look at that and then we're going to get it over to the board, do the throne section, do the scholar section, then do a recap and the ratings. But you can probably tell by the amount of times I'm showing you these in the picture. I'm very impressed. They've just came out really well. I think Neil should be very proud. And once I've done my review, these will go away next to my other sets of custom darts that I've bought. And never be thrown again. So, let's get them over to dartboard. So straight into the throwing section here, these darts feel really nice in the hand. The release point's good. The only thing with me is they're a bit light, but as you can see, two treble 20s. I thought I was getting my first ever 180 in a live in a review, but not to be. These are a very nice dart flying through the air. I'm just having to make sure I let the dart go a bit smoother and I don't put as much effort into the dart because... I'm used to a heavier dart, but we'll put some music on, let you enjoy the rest of the throne section, go through the score there section and then do a recap in the ratings.
recap on the Neil Westy Westgate Flying Fish Darts then. I'm going to call these my Flying Goldfish because I got the gold set. As you can see in the throwing section, I didn't expect to throw these too good because 22 grams is much too late for me. I'm a 24, 25, 26 gram player. I had the new, the well not new, they're new to me, the, the L-Style Pro flights and stems on them, which went really well. I'm going to be using them for a wee while to try and see how I got on with them, give them a review in a couple of weeks time. But there's no point reviewing a set of flights and sh uh, stems unless you've used them for at least a couple of weeks. See what the wind tears like. So, back to the new Westy Westgate darts. Thoroughly impressed. I'm very impressed with them. I'm not much for a thin barrel. I'm not much for a straight barrel. But in the throwing section, I was doing quite well. You know. On the school section, I started off very poorly. But what I, I, I threw my darts hard because I use heavier darts. So I had to just really relax and just let them glide out my hands because they were so, so light. So let's give a grip rating on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point you. The front of this barrel is a two and a half grip. It's a good grip. It's not aggressive. It comes out your hand very well. It's a bit rough at the moment, but that will wear away. That's just the way it's been finished. The mid section, now the mid section is incorporating the ring grip and the fish scale grip, and I'm giving it a three and a half. But the rear grip, which is a unicorn purist, based on the unicorn purist, that's getting a four and a half. That is really aggressive. It's a really good grip. If you grip from the rear, and as I showed you a picture of the way he uh, holds it up, you're getting massive amount of grips. I can't find any faults with the dart. I can't. The point's nice. The barrel's nice. The stem's nice. Would I use it in a match? No, because it's just not my shape. It's not my style. But it's a fantastic dart. The value for money. Now, I paid £44.95 for these, and that included delivery. And... You don't get packaging with it, you don't get stems with it, you don't get flights with it. But everybody changes the stems and the flights. The only thing about the packaging I would say was a lot of people will want these to be to collect them. And having packaging helps with the collecting. So I'll just keep these in a little bag, put them away and keep them for a long time because they're a very nice looking dart. They might even just stick them in a wee display stand with a set these on them so value for money they're coming out at an 8 out of 10 because at 44 pounds and 95 pence for somebody else's custom that is great value overall based on the rvb darts these are also getting an 8 out of 10 and that's the highest i could possibly give it because i won't use these darts now normally if i've got a set if i were to get a set of darts and i would say I don't know for me, I couldn't use them in a match, they're too light, but the work that's went into this, the design, how aesthetically pleasing it is on the eye, the balance in it, the way it was going into the board, the way I was getting used to it, it's got to be an 8 out of 10, it's the highest mark I can give it, because any higher, and it's got to be my dart I'm going to be using and go back to and go back to, but 22 grams, it's too light for me, I knew it was going to be too light for me before I bought them, but I wanted them so I could put them in my collection, and then give them a an honest review so if you see these coming back up for sale or if you see them on ebay facebook marketplace <laughs> grab them very quickly because these are a great buy for 44 pounds and 95 pence so guys thanks for watching just a quick note the scolia section if you're thinking about buying a scolia St Helens Dart Shop will be doing a special offer from the 3rd of July till the 9th of July. It's one week only where the Scolia will be available with a free, with a free spark light surround. So you're getting that for free. The price will be for the full bundle £680. But if you use the word cowboy, you'll get a further £10 off of that. So it will go down to £670. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I paid a lot more than that for mine. So it's a fantastic deal. If it's in the back of your mind to buy one, 
pull the trigger now because that's that's a cracking deal. It's a deal that's came direct from Scolia. All store store stock stockists will do it, but in in the UK, St Helens Dart Shop, that's the place to go. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Please, if you're thinking about getting a set of custom darts, look up Thornton Darts on Twitter. I'll stick a wee thing on the end of the video at the description. And uh, when I post the video, uh, direct me to his website. Give Neil Westy Westgate a wee message if you're interested in a set. See if there's any more coming out. I don't know. I've not asked him. A big thanks to his daughter for having a mermaid pen. Because if uh, she didn't have the mermaid pen, I don't think we would have seen this fish scale design at the front. And it is, it's very nice. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Click that subscribe button. And add a comment at the end of the video. Let me know if you're watching, let me know what you think. But most of all, keep enjoying your darts and I'll catch you in the next review.